This segment brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Allison Railsback from Osage City joins us. She will be a senior at Fort Hayes State University and also served as one of the summer interns with Kansas Soybeans. And Allison, I'm sure it was a uh, busy summer for you guys uh, serving in the internship. Yes, it's been a great summer working with some great individuals, doing a lot of different things for the agriculture industry. What were some of the main responsibilities you had? So we first started off heavy with the um, Kansas Agriculture and Economic and Statistical Report that we gave to the Kansas legislators in D.C. It was a really great opportunity to see what agriculture has on the impact of Kansas as well as the economic contribution it gives to us. Not only from your perspective as a college student, but seeing some of those numbers, I'm sure, kind of magnified the importance of what we do in Kansas Oh, agriculture. definitely. I think it was a really great opportunity because you might not understand how much impact it has, especially if you're from a small community or you might just not see how big our culture is on those scale. What other things did you do during the summer internship? We had the opportunity to go down to Tulsa for the visit the Porta Catusa for our corporate tour at the Commission and Association. So that was a really great opportunity to see how Kansas soybeans actually go down to Oklahoma and go on barges and ship out to different areas across the world. We also had the opportunity to attend Camp Biodiesel, which was a really fun opportunity to visit with some different individuals in the biodiesel industry. You see the importance for that, and it helps you as far as conveying a message if anyone has any questions about that or anything once you probably engage in conversations with them. Oh, yes. I never really understood what biodiesel was built for, so knowing what it is now was a really great opportunity to see what contribution it has and what impact it might have in the future. For you and also your fellow intern, Natalie Harris, if there's a message out there, if people might have an interest in this internship, what would be that message you would tell them to apply for this internship? I would say go for it. It's been a really great summer. You meet a lot of different people from consumers to producers, um, as well as people that are making a difference in the agriculture industry. So just go out there and try it and just take a chance. It's amazing being the voice for the industry, how much of an effect that has, too. Yes, for sure. You definitely learn a lot more about different areas of agriculture, where soybeans are from, and what they go into. So it's a great opportunity. All right. Allison, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is Allison Railsback from Osage City. She will be a senior at Fort Hayes State University, and she joins us on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at kansassoybeans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Stay tuned for more Farm Factor. Coming up, Dwayne talks technology with Ivan Lynch from Precision Planting.